Hey guys, Dan Giles here. Here's a tip for you. I got some electrical devices I want to show you how to properly wire. And what do I mean? A switch and an outlet. That's right, a switch and an outlet. And to properly wire these things, there's certain things you need to know. First of all, what you need to know is how far back to strip the insulation off of that wire. Here's the wire I've got. And you want to know, how much insulation do I strip off of this thing? Well, luckily, on the backs of outlets and on the back of switches, there's a gauge that tells you just exactly how much wire to strip. Now, on the back of this outlet, right here, that's your wire gauge, and that tells you how much insulation to strip off of that wire. So what you would do is just line your wire up to that piece, put your thumb right there on that mark, then get your wire strippers, find the correct gauge wire on your strippers that you're stripping back, and voila, that tells you exactly how much wire to take off, or how much insulation to take off of that wire. Then all you wanna do is grab the tip of that wire Put your little turn on it just like that now you want it to go clockwise and why well when you wire into the screws on this outlet you want those wires to go clockwise with the way the screw turns on that that way you're pulling the wire around the screw as you tighten it up if you did it the opposite way you'd be pushing that wire out and chances are you're not going to get a good connection Something else you want to guarantee that you do when you strip that wire back, you want to make sure that you don't have any insulation under that screw so that when you tighten that up, and this is my handy dandy 11 in one, it's got a square bit on the tip of it there. That's perfect for the screws that are on these outlets and switches. And you tighten it that up, you're turning it clockwise to tighten it up. And remember, the wires turn clockwise, so it's not going to push it out of that screw. It's going to tighten it up in that screw. And you just tighten it up. Now you're going the correct way. You don't have any insulation under that screw. All you have is copper wire. Because what happens is that that insulation is going to shrink a little bit. And if you've got that screw tightening on top of insulation and that insulation shrinks, now you've got a loose connection and that's gonna be a potential fire hazard. You're gonna start getting arcing and, and shorts in there and then you're gonna have an issue. So anyway, that's how you properly wire an outlet. It's gonna be the same thing with a, screw, with, a, with a switch where on the back of this, switch this is my wire gauge right there so I'm going to put my wire on there I'm going to mark where I'm going to strip it back get my crimpers and pull off the perfect amount of insulation like that so anyway guys I hope this is going to help you and make it easier for you to wire an outlet and a switch because you don't want this wire to be stripped way back to here and have all that bare wire past your outlet or your switch. Something else you need to know, a little quick tip here, the brass colored screws on that outlet, that's gonna be your hot wires, the black. On the other side, you have silver screws. That's your neutral wires, the white. Another way to know that you're gonna wire it correctly is to know that your neutral wires are always going to be on the same side as your ground. That's it. See you next time. So this is Dan Giles. Another quick tip for you. I hope the video helps you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, if you are, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back. You're much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. And I hope that you learned something from each and every video I have. So anyway, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, let me know that you appreciate it. Hey, 
And if you want to support the channel, right down there is a little applause button. Check it out. Support the channel. Support me. This is Dan Giles. I'll see you in the next video.